Good morning to everybody. Good morning. We are live uh, from the from Sonora. We are in Sonora. That is the border that connects to Yuma, Arizona. We are going to meet right now with a district leader, a politician who is the district leader of a particular city in the in the state of Sonora. Sonora, it is the state that connects to Arizona. Huge, uh, massive influx that is coming in through Yuma, through all these places. And don't miss today, Real America's Voice News. Download the app, realamericasvoicenews.com. We're going to meet up with all the team of Real America's Voice News on the other side of the border and also on the other side in Arizona. So be sure to be joining in uh, today. Watch uh, Ben Berquam and Real America's Boys News. Download the app at Hulu, Roku, all these places where you can uh, basically uh, watch Real America's Boys News. Uh, and uh, it's going to be a good coverage showing you the reality and truth about what is happening in our borders. It is a, uh, we got a huge problem. And, you know, it is, it is a reality. I was live today at the Wendy Bell Radio Network, and I was, you know, telling people what is going to basically happen if Title 42 is being lifted. A lot of the leftist, uh, progressive communists, uh, they believe that Title 42, it is racist, it is this, it is that. But I will tell you one thing. Uh, if, if you don't like the, if you don't like the name title 42, rename it something else, uh, whatever you want. Uh, but, uh, this title 42 lifting on title 42 will create more insecurity at the borders. will create more people suffering will ultimately create more trafficking of people. Uh, it's going to help a lot of people, but it's also going to complicate a lot of the individuals. So it is, it is going to be, uh, you know, it is going to be something that is going to affect every border is not only affecting the border of the united states with with the mexico it's affecting the borders in central and south america it is a huge huge problem look i am driving right now and the good sonora uh you can you guys can see actually that there is nothing over here there's the border over there on the other side that is that is actually arizona right there all those dunes uh that is arizona right there all the way to the back so I am, uh, what's up, Arizona? <laughs> what's going on, Arizona? So, you know, uh, we're going to meet up the whole team, uh, Real America's Voice News, uh, the whole team, camera, camera crew, all of us uh, to broadcast for you guys the reality. Uh, we're going to meet with deputies, uh, also politicians, district leaders uh, today uh, to give you guys basically uh, it is not somebody saying America can't house the world. Uh, something has to give. America is a continent. It's supposed to be the United States of America. Uh, but America itself, the continent of America itself, cannot handle this uh, huge uh, globalistic agenda. Uh, America itself, the continent of America itself cannot handle uh, this globalistic agenda. It is just... It is just, you know, it is, it is just overwhelming. So over there, you can see is Arizona. We are right here in the dunes of Arizona. So what's up, Arizona? <laughs> Beautiful Arizona was not that, not, not that long ago. I was in Arizona, you know, uh, running and Papago Park. Uh, beautiful Papago Park. It is beautiful. I love Arizona, man. One of the places that I, if, if I had the possibility, I moved to Arizona, man. Arizona is a beautiful place. It is getting bomb brushed and it is getting, uh, basically, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's getting, uh, basically, uh, uh, not in a word, I will say it, it is, is getting overwhelmed and it is getting abused, uh, with what is the asylum laws. It is getting abused with asylum laws. And, uh, ultimately, uh, you know, I, I know somebody says I have two degrees, Oscar, I'm referring to United States. Well, congratulations for your two degrees. I know uh, you possibly are a really intelligent and, and, and articulated person. They didn't mean to insult you. This is the way that other foreigners refer as, as our continent. The continent is referred as continent of America. I know that you were referring to your country, but it's, let's you know refer ourselves 
As it is. And I respect you. Thank you so much for telling me that. Uh, send you a big... En un kilómetro. Okay. Now I'm getting, uh, you know, I'm getting uh, basically the directions to where to go <laughs> from uh, Google Maps. Uh, so welcome, everybody. We are traveling now to another state. We are in another state. In the part of Mexico, we're going to meet up right now with a district leader who is, she knows about, let me flip the camera for everybody going on. She en la Glorieta, toma la segunda salida por Calzada Lázaro Cárdenas Oeste. Segunda salida por la Calzada Lázaro Cárdenas. What the hell is that? Well, I believe that I gotta go straight. So, uh, so today... En 1.7 <laughs> so, uh, I wanted to tell you guys, let me park right here because I don't, I cannot be driving with uh, Google Maps giving me directions right now. Uh, we're about to meet up with uh, uh, some uh, district leader from uh, the city, uh, one of the cities of Sonora. Let me park right here. Let me park right here. Okay. Some of the cities of Sonora, we're about to uh, uh, meet up. Uh, with a district leader, a politician over here. We have been talking for a little while. I have been in contact with her for a little while and her husband. Uh, and she has been explaining about the unaccompanied minors. She knows for a fact that a lot of these children are being trafficked, are being abused. And a lot of these children end up in child services in Mexico. Uh, and it is just, uh, it is just, uh, America is not a continent, basic geography. It is North America just because the immigrants think it. Uh, no, you're wrong. I don't, I don't know why we are arguing with this. It says continent of America. It is not, it is divided by North America, Central America, and South America, but the whole continent, it is America. And it is named after Américo Vespucio, the one that designed the map as later on it was discovered when it was already discovered. So just, you know, please do not argue history. <laughs> so uh, we're here at the state of Sonora, beautiful state of Sonora. Thank you so much for receiving me over here in the state of Sonora. As I was telling you, uh, this district leader knows about the trafficking of children, knows about the trafficking of people, uh, and knows about the most entirely where the children end up. The children end up in child services right here in Mexico. That is a sad, sad, sad thing as they have been abused and trafficked through other countries and they end up in child services over here for nobody to pick them up. Nobody to pick them up. And this district leader is going to give us a little bit of a statement. I don't know if she wants to be on camera. I don't believe that she wants to be on camera. Or, you know, we can put the camera down here to, you know, to cover her face. But ultimately, it is something that we want to cover because it is a sensitive topic. It is a situation which is exacerbated in every border in Central America and South America. It is a situation that is ex exacerbated in massive numbers as more than 38,000 has been what the United States Customs and Border Agents have said between the months of November 2021 and also in, uh, you know, in the month of November 21 to now, March, uh, to now, to March. So it is a reality, people. We have a problem. Now, you have add to the fact that we are going, that you guys are going to possibly lift up Title 42. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Ay, ay, ay. I will post something that it was posted on another person that is a really accurate journalist from Tapachula. Breaking news for everybody. They already organizing a caravan for the 15th of April. Why they are organizing a caravan for the 15th of April? Because it's going to take them apparently one week to get to the borders of Guatemala. Let's say that it will reorganize and get another 10 days, 10 to 15 days to exit the state of Chiapas and from their land on the north borders 
just in time when Title 42 will be lifted. It is a reality. Just by saying that you are going to lift Title 42 at Caravan, it is about to be organized on the 15th of April. They already released the banner. They or the banner, I have the banner. And they already released the banner. So the banner is already out. They're convoking to a plaza for a new caravan to start on the 15th of April. And on the 23rd of May, it is exactly around the time that it will be arriving this caravan all the way to the north. I'm not ex I'm not exaggerating. I'm not creating hysteria like these leftists say. It is a reality. We have really good experience on caravans, on timing, on arrival, on estimated time of arrival, on all this kind of stuff. We got really good experience on Intel. So this is what it is expecting. When you start proclaiming and you start saying to the world that they are going to lift up Title 42, it will happen from outside of Mexico. Yes, the caravan will start in Honduras. I will let my uh, my producer get the banner right now. And as soon as my producer gets the banner, it will be put on all my platforms. I told you guys, the reason why I went last time to Tapachula is to know if people knew about Title 42. And I told you guys, everybody knows about Title 42. And this is a clear evidence that already in Honduras, they're organizing a caravan on the 15th of April. Ha! Huh. So be sure to be watching. I'll be live only on Getter today. I'll be live only on Getter just for my platforms to know. Oh, no, you know what? Let me see where I can go live because I don't want to ruin the whole live feed. So let me see where I can go live. Freedom of speech is better at Getter. I don't want to get sanctioned at YouTube. So, you know, let me see what I can do. Let me see what I can do and what my colleague that I'm going to meet up uh, in a few minutes from Real America's Voice News, my brother from another, uh, you know, let me see where, you know, we can... Uh, express ourselves more freely and talk to you guys. Uh, but ultimately, this is really important for everybody to understand that this is how information gets filtered in Central America and in the world. So if Honduras already knows that they are they are lifting uh, Title 42, imagine the world. Thank you so much. I will see you guys in a few seconds. I got to run. I got to get to my location. Stay safe. And like we always say, people, peace and love. Because always your country's first. God bless.